and welcome to a Thursday edition of Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. It is currently 9.59 p.m. on Wednesday, March 24th in New York City, which means we have one minute till some Thursday crosswords. Before that, though, a little peek at yesterday's leaderboard, where 10 seconds was enough for first on my leaderboard. We got PB Gector in 15 seconds, who unsubtly reminded me that he solves on his phone, which is certainly a little bit slower. Uh, Amy next in 20 seconds. I think Jeffrey was in 25 seconds, but he never comments on these videos, or almost never. And we got Camus, Venta, and Phil, Stickers, the Glorp, all under 30 seconds. Very, very admirable times. We had to Nomad, Herman Chow, Bill Boris, Chris, Lil Sun, ERL, Air Tangos, Oriana, Ball Don't Lie, Philly Fom, and Tartuna Joy, and Rice Hornet all under one minute. Large crowd under a minute today, very fast. Then we got Emerina, J, Chenny, and ABC 104 rounding out the crew. Nice to see y'all doing the mini on the regular. Um, hopefully, you can beat me today. It's now 10 o'clock in New York City, which means if we're lucky, we'll have some Thursday puzzles. Let's take a peek. Yes, looks like we do. So here's a spoiler alert for the Thursday mini. If you would like to play along, pause the video here and click on the link in the description below. The mini is always free to play. Are we centered? We are centered. All right, let's just get into it. Um, arch. Okay, 16 second mini. I saw the AE and I wasn't sure what would happen here. Um, I guess it could have been ESOP like in yesterday's puzzle, but it's just the vowel string. Yeah, this took me a second. I'm sure uh, my New York friends will get it much faster. Probably Jowen, who's spent so many years <laughs> getting Boba guys near Washington Square Park. Shout out to Boba guys, love that place. Frequent flyer is a pilot. Easy does it in furs. Ruler cross. Like July and jalapenos. And PDF. Nice. Nice little Thursday mini. But now for the main event, which is the Thursday Daily Grid. It's by Alex Eaton Solners today. A name I recognize, so he must have some puzzles this year. Along with probably a lot of other puzzles. Uh, here's a spoiler, spoiler alert for the Thursday Daily Grid. If you'd like to play along, Pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The daily puzzle does require a New York Times game subscription. And we got some circles in this grid for this Thursday theme. A lot of them actually, one, two, three, four, five, and six of the clues, so a lot of themers. Last week was my favorite puzzle of the year, so we'll see what this Thursday has in store for us. Let's get into it. They can be found just above a six pack, maybe Pex, Boxer's Mitt, Paw, prefix with conscious Eco, Mars for one, and it's a mad, 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 mad world co-star, not sure. China, North Korea, border river. Is it the Yalu River? Yitters, knitters, yitters, yarn. Division of the Justice Department. Jazz, Mary Lou Williams. Shout out to the Mary Lou Williams Center at Duke. Raise up something. Standing above could be atopped. Brazilian export acai. Area name for gynecologist Ernst Grafenberg. Is that the G spot? Escalate to the extreme. Reaction to hilarity, maybe. Enter altogether. Pour in or something like that. Composer Rorum, I don't know that one. Distance between some and where and somewhere over the rainbow. Octave, wow, nice clue. Swarmed, teamed maybe? This could be Ned, I guess. Standing by. Opposite of circle letters. Nick who voices Queel on the Mandalorian. Is it Nick Nolte? Tile in, maybe? Um, Pets control brand. Uh, not sure yet, you betcha. Sure, I sure am, maybe? Uh, could be. Reaction to hilarity, maybe. Opposite of circle letters, ancient Indo-European. Uh, intruder warning, maybe. Legal cover-up? Suit? Is that a double play pun? Harvey Pollywood. Opposite of circle letters. Get up and go. Like many big photos, blurry. Start of a counting out rhyme, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Fruit that's usually dried for consumption. Fig, maybe? No. 
Uh, it could be actually. This could be effusive. And no, it's not effective. Yeah, and the circle letters are effete, so it's um, words that contain their own antonym as a, as a subset. But I don't have enough. <laughs> like horsehair, color on the flag of every permanent UN Security Council. I think it's red. Most charitable. Something est, probably. Uh, got loaded. Opposite of circle letters, up to. Till maybe Matt used for judo. Is it Tiptami? Shortly, in a bit or in a sec or something, go from worst to bad, say. Prefix with aggression, microaggression. Cry made while removing a jacket. Hmm. Till, right? Flowers that in the dooryard bloomed in a Whitman poem. Don't know. Ruhaha. That could be like fuss or a do or something. Camelot lady and five point rugby pit play. Is that a try? Stir here? Sycophant. Gifts. Talents. Blank conservative. Fiscal conservative, maybe? Just in case. Lest. Estadio cheer ole. Quick get the dog some. Alpo? Brisk pace trot. Let's go with Alpo here. Happy states. Uh, ups? So, court or something? Opposite of Kurt. Hmm. Courteous. Nice. Carver's tool. Is it an ads? Destination of a Finnish mail that's addressed to... Mm. One role for Harriet Tubman in the Civil War. Spy? Dispatch in a way. This isn't kill, is it? I don't know. Mars for one. Uh, candy? Bar? Uh, what is this? ATF, I think. Um... Woeful, wonderful. So what is this? Maybe it's not suit. Maybe it's not blurry either. Uplift for rays, escalate to the extreme. Extreme. Go something. This could be on ice, I guess. Go nuclear. That's a nice fill. A snort and I sure am was correct. Now we're in the Phanerozoic one era. Ooze away. Seep out, maybe? Intruder warning, maybe. Director's Nicola. I think this is Harvey Keitel. Harvey Keitel, rather. Uh, kindest. Got loaded. Cons. Comp Super computer Pyramid Pioneer Seymour. Is it Cray? This could be Coarse. Let's go with that. What is this going to be? Prurient? Pure? Are those antonyms? This is going to be Enid. Um, cons. And get up and go pep. So cons are... Don't know? Work before food or theory. Pet? Pet food and pet theory. Shout out to Momo. Shortly. It's probably in a bit. Lilacs here. It's me? Union Station DuPont Circle Connector to DC. The Metro? Animosity. Yeah, Amity is right in there. It's on, maybe. Is this Abate, probably? Go for most bad. No. Oh, Abate, yeah. It gets a little bit better. Blank one on. This is defeat for best in that sense. Um, bit of ink. A jot. Sycophant. Uh, destination finished mail and one roll for Harriet Tubman. Okay, pest control ban brand. Still don't know. Don't know this one either. Ancient Indian European legal cover up, opposite of this the circle there. So this is off by just one letter. I don't think I have enough here. Like many Bigfoot photos, grainy. Got loaded. Tied one on. Uh, what else are Mars? Oh, it is probably Candy Bar. Don't know that, man. Proper nouns here. Sycophant. So this means that you're like a flatterer, right? Or, I guess this is the adjective. 
pawns. Mm, prisoners, that kind of con. Bit of ink. Not sure yet. Grocery product with orange packaging. Tang? Do some wishful thinking question mark. Set a goal. Okay. Is this toady? Ah, uh, tat. It's always a tattoo. Carver's tool. Rasp, probably. I guess it's spy. Dispatch away is slay. USA. That's how you say USA in, in Finnish, I guess. So just these things here. <laughs> uh, ancient Indo-European. Um, mm, legal cover-up? Question mark. Robe? Opposite of circle letters. Intruder warning. Arf, maybe? Arian here? Oh, Eon maybe here instead of this? Uh, this is still not good. Opposite of circle letters. What is this? Dirker Nicholas Rogue here? Um, is this a T? Oh gosh, okay. I think I like all the fills that I currently have. So what is this? What letters could this be? E is definitely possible. Problem is that this is a proper noun that I can't really figure out, and this is a proper noun as well, a pest control brand. That I don't know. Dune? No. Yikes. Okay. Not my favorite portion of the puzzle this week. Nicola Rogue. What else could it be? Could it be a, any consonant at all? L? Rolg? Gosh. Okay, what, what if I do this? Got loaded. It's gotta be tied one on, right? Then what is this? Fasting? Fasting and feasting. Sid Caesar? Decon? Okay, man. Some rough stuff here, crossing Decon with Sid Caesar and Rogue here. Yeah, this area here is pretty tough for me. So the theme here is just, uh, yeah, words that contain their own antonym as a substring or a se sequence of substrings, all, all in the same order though. So woeful versus wonderful. A feat versus effective, fasting versus feasting, this was tough for me. Prurient versus pure, animosity versus amity, and curt versus courteous. Tough, interesting theme though. Um, this is pretty much just a word nerd theme, I would say. Let's just look up some definitions. Prurient, having or encouraging an excessive interest in sexual matters. Yeah, that's the opposite of pure. And what else might be... Maybe effete is a word that I don't see too often. Effective, over-refined, and ineffectual. So effective versus effete. Yeah, I, I like the theme because I'm a bit of a word nerd myself. But uh, yeah, interesting. I, I, I like it. It's not my favorite puzzle either by any stretch, but yeah, the Yalu River. This was tough. I did know it, but I guess the crosses are okay. Mary Lou Williams is quite famous, and there's a jazz center at Duke. Free jazz every Wednesday night, at least when I was a student. The ATF is maybe kind of hard too. That's alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. Yeah, the crosses are probably pretty fair. Acai, very popular on lots of puzzles so far this year. Nick Nolte. I, need to, I really need to watch The Mandalorian. Decon. Like once when I see it, it does look reasonable, but 
hard for me to come up with. It really doesn't seem like it should be a consonant there. I sure am, that's okay. I feel like Aryan is kind of a risky thing to play in your puzzle. I mean, I realize it does refer to ancient Indo-Europeans, but... Harvey Keitel. Kind of, yeah, kind of a lot of proper nouns in this upper half. Yalu, Decon, Keitel, Ned, Nolte, Rogue. And, you know, these aren't like the most commonly known proper nouns. Lou is... I guess Lou and Ned are very guessable, but... The rest of them, not so much. Kind of, kind of rough. Grainy and coarse next to each other in the middle. It's kind of fun. Interesting clue for red, I guess. Mm, let's see. Toady being sycophant. The person who behaves obsequiously to someone important. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard this in conversation. <laughs> but that's fine. Microaggression. Alpo. So there's two kind of... Uh, a pet food themed there's a little mini pet food theme pet food and alpo so shout out to all my pet watchers aka momo calpco goomba darcy ipo and napo rasp is popular on crosswords and slay interesting that this is being clued as sort of to kill rather than the, the more modern meanings one of which is like humor and one of which is like i don't know looking really good right we even got another another kind of animal theme here with Paul. Candy bar. Yeah, Mars can be a lot of things, right? Like the Roman god of war, the planet. Um, like it could mean the, the verb, right? To like, to damage something. Sid Caesar. I'm pretty bad at these uh, famous people. He was on your show of shows. Yeah, so like kind of an old-timey actor too. So not really a great proper proper noun in, in the top of the puzzle here. Go nuclear, though, is a very nice fill. Also nice clue for octave. This took a second. <laughs> this is a... Yeah, that's a very nice clue for octave. I, I like that. We got arf. We got paw, arf, pet, and alpo, so... Sort of a big mini pet theme here. Tied one on. That's okay. Cons can be so many things too, right? Like scams or negatives or prisoners. Yeah, I was just talking to Liz the other day about how cray uh, could be clued as the slang for crazy or I guess crayfish, like fish procedure or something. Or they make supercomputers. I don't know if they still do. They at least used to. No, they're even headquartered in Seattle. But they're... These revenues are from 2017. I see. They were acquired by Hewlett Packard. Okay. So maybe not so big anymore. Enid. More uh, Arthurian stuff. Probably gonna try. I know just... <laughs> Just a few words from Rugby. Tatami, shout out to, to Rice Hornet, who for some reason always reminds me of Tatami Mats. He has some, I think. Yeah. Tattoos are always being included this way, and I never, I can never get them. It's a, it's a little blind spot in my crossword brain. Ole, ups. Didn't know that was a Finnish word for USA. Interesting clue. And spy. Okay. I would say pretty proper noun heavy in the north of this puzzle. That's pretty rough for me personally. I'm not so great at a lot of these celebrities, but interesting theme. Let's take a peek at some stats. This has got to be pretty average for me, surely. Have I lost internet connection? No. Okay, so still closer to my average than my best. Let's put it that way. Leaderboard for tomorrow. We got Orioana nice and early. Shout out to, to Orioana, probably my friend whose name appears in the puzzle the most often. Oh my gosh, I've gone upside down. I wonder if I've been upside down this entire time. <laughs> uh, sorry for that. I wonder if I can fix that in post. I probably not, I'm not going to try. Anyway, 
<laughs> been upside down this whole time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for some Friday puzzles.